Hi, welcome to our fisheries professional licensure examination reviewer to our future fisheries professionals. We will be reviewing the topics under the post-harvest fisheries. Today, our topic is about processing of other aquatic products. Let's get started. Shucked shellfish, clams and oysters without shells, become plump and opaque when cooked thoroughly and the edges of the oysters start to curl. The FDA suggests boiling shucked oysters for a. 3 minutes, b. 10 minutes, c. 20 minutes, d. 1 hour. The correct answer is A. Shucked shellfish, clams, mussels, and oysters without shells become plump and opaque when cooked thoroughly, and the edges of the oysters start to curl. The FDA suggests boiling shucked oysters for 3 minutes, frying them in oil at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes, or baking them at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. Which of the following is the correct handling of shrimps? A. Keep frozen at 0 degrees Celsius, minus 18 degrees Celsius or colder. B. Peeled shrimp should be wrapped before placing on ice, C. Thawed in refrigerator, D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. The following are the correct steps in the handling of shrimp. What is the energy value of oyster? A. 50 calories per 100 grams. B. 60 calories per 100 grams. C. 70 calories per 100 grams. D. 80 calories per 100 grams. The correct answer is C. 70 calories per 100 grams. Oysters are low in calories yet loaded with nutrients, including protein, healthy fats, vitamins, and minerals. For example, a 3.5 ounce, 100 gram, serving provides over 100% of the RDI for vitamin B12, zinc, and over 75% of daily needs for selenium and vitamin D. What is the export product of oysters? A. Canned. B. Smoked. C. Pickled. D. Salted. The correct answer is A. Canned oysters are among the most loved seafood because of their unique taste profile and nutritional value. Although some people don't have access to fresh oysters, there are canned oysters available at supermarkets. Canned oysters are a low-fat source of protein, but they're higher in calories and fat than raw oysters. Oyster exports in 1982 contributed about 54% to the total export of canned marine products. What do you call the undesirable flavor that results from the reaction of unsaturated lipids with oxygen as a result of spoilage? A. Acrid. B. Bitter. C. Cheesy. D. Rancid. The correct answer is D. Rancid oxidative rancidity is a reaction of fatty acids with oxygen. More specifically, it is the reaction of double bonds in unsaturated fatty acids with oxygen. Upon reacting with oxygen, very reactive components, among others hydroperoxides, will be formed. It is omnipresent in meat and fish and their products. They are easily damaged, so they must be harvested in clusters. A. Oysters. B. Crabs. C. Mussels. D. Shrimps. The correct answer is B. Mussels. Farmed mussels possess thin shells and are easily damaged, so they must be harvested in clusters to reduce water loss, which will shorten their life after harvest. This refers to the final step before shipping the shellfish products to the restaurant. A. Cleaning. B. Scaling. C. Cooking. D. Grating and packing. The correct answer is D. Grading and packing are important quality assurance mechanisms. Shellfish products are often graded by size, e.g., clams, shrimp, stone crab claws, or meat type, blue crab claws versus lump meat. The following are uses of agar, except A. Gel forming agent. B. Lubricant. C. Culture media. D. Gives color to paper.
The correct answer is C, gives color to paper. Gelling agents are components that solidify media cultures, facilitating the isolation of microorganisms in pure cultures. Agar is the most commonly used gelling agent in the microbiological field because of properties like gelling temperature and a desirable texture, high firmness and low adhesiveness. Agar media is essential for the study of microorganisms and molecular biology and is widely used in the culture and detection of pathogens from contaminated food and water. In addition, due to its porous 3D framework, agar is frequently used in biomolecular separation and purification. In canning, what do you call the vertical distance from the top of the can to the level of the product? A. Seam. B. Headspace. C. Vent. D. Pressure. The correct answer is B. Headspace. A seam, or double seam, is a canning process for sealing a tin can by mechanically interlocking the can body and a can end, or lid. Venting, also called, exhausting, the canner. A process of letting the steam come out of the canner for a period of time, before the canner is sealed down to bring it up to pressure. This refers to the Japanese term for semi-processed frozen minced fish where the meat has undergone leaching by water and polyphosphate added. A. Karaso. B. Nori. C. Surimi. D. Karoma. The correct answer is, C. Surimi. Surimi is a minced fish paste made from a cheap fish in abundant supply, usually, Alaskan pollock, frequently mixed with sugar and sorbitol. Which of the following are not components of sea cucumber processing? A. Freezing and chilling. B. Gutting and boiling. C. Smoking and gutting. D. Salting and drying. The correct answer is A. Freezing and chilling. Processing includes cutting, salting, cooking, smoking and drying the sea cucumbers. The price given to fishers for dried sea cucumbers depends on the species they are selling, how big the individuals are, and how well they have been processed. This type of fish enzyme is responsible in the softening of chilled prawn attacking the wall of the liver pancreas. A. Cathepsin D. B. Calpanes. C. Cathepsin L. D. Collagenases. The correct answer is D. Collagenases disintegration of collagen type 1 and V are mainly responsible for the softening of shellfish muscles, presumably due to the action of autolytic collagenolytic enzymes. Shellfish are good sources of vitamins and minerals. Oysters and mussels, for instance, have high levels of what particular mineral is higher than red meat? A. Iodine. B. Zinc. C. Selenium. D. Iron. The correct answer is B, zinc. Shellfish are healthy, low-calorie sources of zinc. Oysters contain particularly high amounts, with six medium oysters providing 32 mg, or 291% of the DV. Other types of shellfish contain less zinc than oysters but are still good sources. Which of the following technologies is, are currently utilized in the handling of oysters? A, individual quick freezing. B, heat cool pasteurization. C. High hydrostatic pressure. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Individual quick freezing. IQF involves rapid freezing of half-shell oysters on trays, then adding a thin glaze of ice to seal in the natural juices before storing them frozen. Heat Cool Pasteurization, HCP, is a patented process whereby live oysters are placed in warm water for a certain time period and then immediately dipped in cold water to stop the cooking process. These oysters are packed for the half-shell market or sent for further processing as shucked product. High hydrostatic pressure is also a patented process that subjects oysters to high pressures, 35,000 to 40,000 pounds per square inch for 3 to 5 minutes to kill spoilage bacteria and reduce microorganisms including Vibrio to non-detectable levels. Seaweed can be utilized as 
A. Medicine. B. Fertilizer. C. Animal feeds. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Seaweed has been of botanical, industrial, and pharmaceutical interest. Traditional Chinese medicine used hot water extracts of certain seaweeds in the treatment of cancer seaweed as a broad-spectrum fertilizer that is rich in beneficial trace minerals and hormones that stimulate plant growth. Seaweed is high in carbohydrates which are essential building blocks in growing plants, and low in cellulose so it breaks down readily. Seaweeds have a long history of use as livestock feed. Green and red seaweeds contain higher protein but lower minerals than brown seaweeds. Seaweeds can contribute to the protein and energy requirements of livestock. Which of the following is not the correct handling of muscles? A. Byssus gland that secretes sticky hairs should be pulled out or the muscles will die within hours. B. Must be kept in damp at all times. C. Can be chilled between 2 to 4 degrees Celsius using a blanket of melting ice. D. Farmed mussels possess thin shells and are easily damaged, so they must be kept harvested in clusters to reduce water loss, which will shorten their life after harvest. The correct answer is A. Byssus gland that secret sticky hairs should be pulled out or the mussels will die within hours. Shellfish such as crabs, mussels, clams, oysters, and lobsters, whenever possible, should be blank until processed or cooked. A. Disinfected. B. Alive. C. Salted. D. Dried. Correct answer is B. Alive. Alive lobsters and other shellfish have harmful bacteria naturally present in their flesh. Once the lobster is dead, these bacteria can rapidly multiply and release toxins that may not be destroyed by cooking. You therefore minimize the chance of food poisoning by cooking the lobster alive. Which of following is not correct in handling seafood? A. Oysters, clams, mussels in the shell must be alive before cooking. B. Crabs and lobster should kept alive before cooking. C. Frozen shrimp should be solidly frozen when received. D. A strong fishy or iodine smell indicate that shellfish is fresh. The correct answer is D. All shrimps should smell fresh and sweet. All shrimps should smell fresh and sweet because a strong fishy odor or iodine smell indicates spoilage. Is it safe for high-risk consumers to eat raw post-harvest processed oyster? A. Yes. B. No. C. Maybe. D. None of the above. The correct answer is B. No. Even though PHP oysters are processed to reduce Vibrio and some other microorganisms to non-detectable levels, they are still raw. Therefore, high-risk consumers, those with liver disease, cancer, diabetes, AIDS, or other conditions that weaken their immune systems, should eat them thoroughly cooked. Which of the following is the proper way to handle seafood? A. Shellfish should be put in water and refrigerated. B. Mussels and clams should be used within two to three days. C. Live lobsters should not be cooked on the day they are purchased. D. All of the above. The correct answer is C. Live lobsters should not be cooked on the day they are purchased. Shellfish, such as mussels, clams, and oysters that are purchased live in their shells, should be put in a shallow pan. No water, covered with moistened paper towels and refrigerated. Mussels and clams should be used within 2 to 3 days and oysters within 7 to 10 days. Shucked shellfish can be placed in a sealed container and frozen. Live lobsters and crabs should be cooked the day they are purchased. 